이래. recording. I'll hey, just trying to get some painting done here. Are you got the canvas in it? Yeah, both you and the canvas okay. completely in. I've just put my energies into doing this instead of, you know, to remember her by. And I know she's not an angel. I know that there's angels up there, but she's not an angel because we don't wear, we actually judge angels when we get to have, at one point when, when after the rapture and after the tribulation. Can you believe it that we're the ones that are going to have to judge the angels? It just seems weird to me that I don't know how worthy we are enough to do that, but that's the Bible says so. But. This has been fun for me and a way to um, enjoy myself. Now, I just use an acrylic paints. And uh, basically, your wings are like a heart, but the middle's kind of cut out. Kind of reminds you of, you know, that's how I look at it anyway. But it's kind of cool. But it's just been good for me. I've done four. <laughs> and this is my office that used to use for business. Now it's my painting room. So I've been doing this instead. So how's everybody doing out there? Anybody else paint? This has been fun for me. I've really enjoyed it. One lady, she was saying how she, it's a big seller in her studio. People want angel wings. How I got the idea was that I wanted angel wings. I wanted to put them in her room. And when I go in there, I just thought it would be pretty. And uh, so I uh, watched a couple of videos on it and I knew I could paint so I decided that you know I'm gonna try it and put my hand to it and make some angel wings on my own and uh, put it out there I'm not selling them they're just for me you know I may send them some to my family I know Megan wants some and, uh, I don't know. I'll take some home with me when I go home to Pennsylvania and give to my niece and my sister. So, it'll just be fun to do that. Well, that looks weird. Why does that look weird? Uh, I don't like the way that looks. One thing about acrylics is that you can take them if you don't like the way it looks, you can paint over it, and you can fix it, which I've done <laughs> many times. Like, I tried to do big ones, big um, angel wings, that, and I don't like that, so I stopped that when I went back to just the little ones, because I think the little ones are prettier. I don't know why. It's I have better proportions to it than the other ones. So, but I don't want to do too much because then you ruin it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. That's the last thing you need to do is ruin a, a painting. When you do too much to them, then you, you really can screw them up. So, I think that's it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. It looks good to me. That's okay. And then you can't see it in here, but there's glitter in the paint. And there's also textures in it. And oh, I gotta put my fallen um, in 
fallen feathers. Can't have it that there's no feathers that are falling. You need that. You know. Gotta have that. So. So, I don't know if you guys have seen anything about Asbury. What's going on real there? Quick. I'll flip this so it doesn't. I'm gonna flip this so that it doesn't fall down. Okay. Yep. Just keep going. Which I think is really cool what's going on down there. Wish I could go down there. But it's good that it's going with the kids because they're our future. And if the kids got the fire god, then we have a lot to look forward to. Because when they've got the fire other generations will follow after. We need that. We need the fire god. So. Whenever you're ready for me to stop it, I'll just no, go. I'll, I'll let you know, babe. Probably going to have to edit some of this. I couldn't find the, I couldn't find the, the part. It's okay. So, it's just going to stay wonky for a while. That's all right. But. This one I put more blues in, but I think it looks good. I'm ready for another canvas to do another one, but it's a lot. Mm. So now when it dries, you should be able to see the gold in it and everything. So, kind of looks good. I don't know if you could see the gold now or not. I need the glitter gold. I bought glitter gold and I don't want to do with it. But that's what needs to go on next is the glitter gold because let's face it, this is this is good, but I don't know. I just need something. I gotta get that glitter in there because just because it's in here doesn't mean it's like it should be i even used hologram um paint where um it uh changes color when the light's in it because i thought that'd be cool <laughs> my angel wings gotta be wild looking <laughs> Nobody ever said I was normal, and if you know me, you would know I'm not normal, so. Can you imagine angel wings? You know, you know, we all have angels. The Bible says we have two angels. And one guy said when he died, he met his angels. And he said his angels' name were Goodness and mercy when he came back and he said goodness and mercy wrote down all his sins and everything he did wrong now this guy when he died he was a preacher and uh, i don't know if you guys know reinhardt bonke but he went to he had died and him and his wife had been fighting and uh he thought, well, I'm going to teach her. I'm not going to talk to her for a few days. He says, she needs to learn her lesson and listen to her husband. Know how to, how things should be and fall, do what he says. <laughs> well, he died. When he died, he uh, got to see a little bit of heaven. And then the angel came in. And the angel said, uh, no, you're not staying here. And he goes, what do you mean? He goes, let's go. And he took him and he went straight to hell. And as he describes hell, it was pretty brutal. And uh, he was saying that uh, he asked him why. And he says, 
He says, if you don't, your father says, if you don't forgive on earth, your father in heaven won't forgive you. Well, put it this way. The wife had him embalmed. She had him in a casket. And the Holy Spirit kept saying to her, do not bury him. Do not bury him. Pray him back. Now in Africa, where he was from, they do that. And I don't know why we don't do that in the United States, but they do it in Africa. Anyhow, so she took him, took him to church, told the preachers and them, I want him to pray back. So they're praying, and one guy said, well, Ryan, our bonkey's in town. Let's go there. So they took his body, and they wanted to take it in the middle of the sanctuary. And when they got there, the guy said, no, you cannot take a dead body in the middle of the sanctuary. That's not going to happen. So he says, but you can go down into the basement. Well, the neat thing about the basement in Africa, they had videotape set up. So they started praying for the guy, and um, he started coming back to life. And first his was his hands started getting changing color. And it showed it on the camera. It was pretty cool. They have the video. And then um he finally came back to life. And uh they uh were shocked and then he told them that story. And it was years later, you know, right. Reinhardt Bonke didn't even know what was going on. So it was the prayers of the people that were in the basement. Their faith in Jesus Christ that brought him back. But years later, Reinhardt Bonke had him on his show. And he gave his testimony. That his testimony was to people, do not, not forgive. And you know, for me, forgiveness was really hard because some of the things I happened, you know, you have a child raped and how do you forgive something like that? You know, you go through a lot of rough things when you're a kid. How do you forgive some of that stuff? And I struggled and I said to God, I said, how do I forgive their, look at the sins they did. They raped my daughter. Look at, how do you forgive this stuff? And God says, You're it's my job to forgive sin, not yours. And it hit me the sin that I gave them control over me, gave them power over me because I wasn't letting it go. And God says, It's not your job to forgive sin, it's mine. So when I told God says, Take take that person's sin. And over here's the cross. He says, I want you to nail that to the cross. So I took it and I gave it to the cross. And when I look back at that person, I seen a person on their way to hell. And at that moment, that's how I learned to forgive. And uh, it changed my life. Their power over me ended and everything ended. And it changed me. It was miraculous. It was wonderful. And... Uh, it was the best thing in the world ever happened to me, letting that go. And God is good. If we let, if we listen to his word, we may not like his word sometimes, but if we listen to his word and allow him to do what he does, we will see miraculous things. And I know for me, it changed my life. And I hope that it can change your life too because trust me we all need that sometimes all right all right let me look at this one and see if i can add to it yeah i gotta put some more stuff on this one. Oh, i need to find my glitter let me throw this one away oh It's fun doing this stuff, but sometimes you got to find all your tools. Every last one of them. I know I bought it the other day. I know I put it in here. That's the glitter I used the other day, but I need a different one. 
I know I bought it. Where I put it, I don't know. That's not it. There it is. There she is. Okay, we're going to put this down here. Don't spill it. Put this over here. Put that there. Okay. Let's get it up here. All right. Oh, but it's fun because this is cool stuff you can layer. And I put, um, I made a thickener, but I use this acrylic Gesto, which is, it actually is a thickener for um, acrylic. And it really helps a lot. So it uh, thickens it and it. It makes your paintings 3D, and especially for something like this, you need that, you know. So, <sighs> but no, forgiving people is something that we people don't want to do all the time. We hold grudges and we blame. It can be our faults, but we blame the world, and the world instead of teaching us to forgive and forget they're trying to teach us to hate and what father if you're following that are you following you're not following God if you're doing that because that's not God's desire for your life you know his desire is that you know he gets the glory and Satan is trying to steal, kill, and destroy us as much as he possibly can. And if he could, he, don't, he doesn't want you to have a happy life. He wants to take away everything. And it's pretty sad. Because we need each other. We need to help one another. When I was a kid, we'd go to each other's house. We'd go in, they'd feed each other. There's always a pot of coffee on, especially at my grandma's house. <sighs> She'd have spaghetti on and pies. And one of the greatest women I ever known. But one of the things I loved about her is that she always loved Jesus. And I'm grateful. She taught me everything she taught me. Because without her, I don't think I'd be here today. When I was going through my roughest times, she was dying. And I was talking to my daughter, Megan, last night about it. I uh, was 25 years old, and my church abandoned me. My dad went into the nursing home. My one sister didn't talk to me. She told me I was worthless. And my other sister was far away. And it was too expensive to call all the time. So I didn't get to talk to her. Because in those days, it was so expensive to call each other. And you call to the next town, it cost you money. And uh, I was so alone. And doing everything myself and trying to survive was really hard. And by the grace of God, he took care of me and brought me through that. I still marvel at what he did in my life and how he changed everything and fixed everything. <laughs> Just awesome. What an awesome God we serve. And his love for me was unending. He cared for me so much. And he was just everything to me. And it's just amazing how I made it through.
but without his love and his compassion for me, I would have never made it. But he was there. He's there for you, too. I don't know what you're going through today, but if you're watching this, maybe you are. Maybe you don't know what's going to happen to you next. Maybe you're alone and you think, where is God? Does he really care about me? Trust me, he does. He cares about the little things. He cared enough to take me from Ohio, from Pennsylvania to Illinois to meet my, to be with my husband. And he was the one that provided for everything. And it's just awesome what he did. Just absolutely awesome. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. And trust me, he did it for me. I don't know. But if you need prayer, don't be afraid to ask. I have so many friends that are watch that are on here that would help you if you need it. Just ask. Ask for prayer. Don't be afraid. Because God is there for us. He's there all the time. Every day. Oh. I hope you all have a good night. And God blesses you. But I'm going to sign off for now. And no wonder I couldn't get out. I had the lid still on it. Isn't that funny? Doesn't help if you have the lid on, does it? So. Whew. What's the matter, Dixie? All right, Brandon. Yeah, I'm going to stop with mm -hmm. the...